Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course and in this video we'll see an overview about extending Dynamics 365 customer engagement apps so before understanding how you can extend Dynamics 365 make you very very clear about what is configuration customization and extension in Dynamics 365 so configuration is nothing but whenever you are making any system changes or security changes or email configuration and data management activities like whenever you are creating a duplicate detection jobs or duplicate detection rules those kind of activities are considered as configuration in Dynamics 365 basically after you have set up or created an instance in Dynamics 365 all the admin activities that you perform on Dynamics 365 instance in order to make it available for general audience to use it in a proper manner like whenever you set up a default currency what will be the prefix in solution or whenever you are creating a business unit or onboarding a user and assigning them the roles and creating a team or when you are setting up email templates that your organization uses to send out the emails from Dynamics 365 instance uh, or are not only the email templates are article templates or, or, or whenever you are performing data cleanup activities like whenever you are setting up duplicate detection jobs these kind of activities are considered as configuring Dynamics 365 instance. Now, what, what is customization? So, customization is something whenever you are extending Dynamics 365 functionality to suit your organization's requirement without writing a single piece of code through out of the box UI designers. Those kind of activities are called as customization. So these activities involves whenever we are making a schema changes. For example, there are more than 200 out of the box entities that are available the moment you subscribe and Dynamics 365 instance. But there can be scenarios like you need to capture information which is not available in Dynamics 365. Let us suppose your company uses Dynamics 365 instance to track the employee leaves on day to day basis like how many leaves a particular employee has taken then leaves is not an entity which is readily available out of the box solution so you need to add one more entity called leaves to your dynamics 365 instance to meet your company's requirement whenever you are adding a custom entity in dynamics 365 you are making schema changes so these kind of activities are called customizations so not only that whenever you are adding a form or a view or any fields to the entity along with whenever you are creating new visualizations like you are creating new dashboards or charts or whenever you are importing any external solutions to enhance your Dynamics 365 instance or whenever you are creating processes like uh, workflows, business process flows, business rules or actions through out of the box UI designers these kind of activities will be called as customizing Dynamics 365 instance let us now understand the extension options that you have in Dynamics 365 extending Dynamics 365 instance means you are writing some piece of code and that code will be integrated into Dynamics 365 platform to meet your requirements and to get a desired output so what are the various options through which you can extend Dynamics 365 the first option you have is to client side scripting basically you are writing some piece of code like JavaScript and CSS and you will integrate this uh, written code in the UI by attaching those JavaScript functions to form load events or field change events through a specific process another way is whenever you are making any navigational changes of Dynamics 365 that includes whenever you are making any sitemap changes or whenever you are adding command to the forms or the views of Dynamics 365 entities and the most powerful feature through which you can extend Dynamics 365 is through plugins plugins is a whole lot of concepts and in this course we will learn in detail everything about the plugins plugins are nothing but the uh, custom C sharp classes that you compile and the generated DLL you will register in Dynamics 365 instance through a plugin registration tool. Another way you can extend Dynamics 365 is through 
custom workflows the out of the box workflows are different from custom workflows because custom workflows write piece of code and you integrate that generated dll after compiling in dynamics 365 to suit your need uh, another powerful feature through which you can extend dynamics 365 functionality is through custom actions so there is a specific requirement why custom actions are needed and the last option is integrating dynamics 365 there will be n number of scenarios where you need to uh, export data from day 365 to external applications or you, uh, whenever you are importing data from external application to dynamics 365 instance or database these kind of uh, scenarios you can achieve in dynamics 365 through integrations so the main idea for again fitting this kind of information is to make you very very clear that what you are going to get out of this course and uh, if you have this broader picture in mind you will be able to decide which uh, extension method you will be utilizing for which kind of scenarios so having said that in our next video we'll see the different types of extensibility so that's all about this video see you in our next video thank you <laughs>